122. We got QWERTY. We got Jut. It's going to be the Piranha Plant coming out from Jut against the QWERTY Sheik. And we are in it for the long run. Let's get it started. All right, I'm so happy just playing Piranha Plant because that was my OG main for a while. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent mass up since Sheik struggles to kill. And Piranha Plant's recovery on normal is pretty exploitable. Ooh, that up. Uh, it really doesn't come into as much of a play against Sheik. No, yeah, I mean, um, one thing about Piranha Plant is you're definitely getting matchup checked here because it's one of those characters that we, we forget that <laughs> Piranha Plant's in this game sometimes. But with the players that still use this character, we've been able to see what this character can really do, whether it's with the Patui, whether it's with the trap game, because this character revolves around trapping you as you see the poison coming out. And already a quick 144 tacked on in the Sheik, which could be seen the first stock flying real soon, unless QWERTY is able to get something going, but using the quick frame data of Sheik to get away from this Piranha Plant. Yeah, like Piranha Plant is so good at ledge trapping. QWERTY was just being kept off the side of the stage for so long, and that's where Piranha Plant really shines. Like, as you see, setting up the poison there, forcing him to stay down at ledge, possibly lose in invincibility, just really forces you to choose an option at ledge, and can be so good at punishing whatever option you choose. Yeah, and I like the option coming out from QWERTY right now. Playing it real safe, she's making sure that she's not really getting in the face of Piranha Plant, but the one time that she gives it away, Sheik takes a up throw to the heavens, gets the first stock taken out as Jut gets first blood. Yeah, that up throw starts killing really consistently around 150%, so mm -hmm. good on Jut for landing that grab. Uh, now he's gonna start with this fresh stock here on QWERTY, able to slowly build up his damage, but uh, he needs to start watching out because as QWERTY lands another couple Sheik combos, he'll start being in danger of dying. But as long as his DI is on point, he should be able to hold on to his soft for a while. No, yeah, one thing that uh, Sheik is really good at is really just playing the waiting game, not really having to force their options. Uh, Sheik is just one of those characters that has really good frame data, is able to throw any and every attack with, um, without having to fear about it being unsafe. Uh, Piranha Plant, however, the way that Jet's been playing as the SD, the fastball, Ooh, unfortunate rough. stock right there from Quirty. He's going to have to shake it off, but nothing that a quick... Uh, a little uh, Sheik string combo can do. Just the problem with Sheik is she's really good at racking up damage, but okay, Pir Piranha Plant's heavy, so we're gonna be seeing this character live for a good while. Yeah, and contrary to many other heavies, the recovery on Piranha Plant's pretty like long distance. Mm -hmm. So you, as like he's gonna need to be killed. Like, Party, she's gonna need to be killing like off the top or the side very consistently if she wants to seal these stocks out before the rage becomes too much of a problem for Sheik to deal with. Yeah, but QWERTY's been doing a phenomenal job, really spacing out the attacks, waiting for Jut to throw out the first attack. But, you know, QWERTY, despite being down, she's making sure that she puts up a good fight, keeping Piranha Plant at the corner, chasing him with the bouncing fish. QWERTY getting the stock, evening things out at one stock apiece, despite the 51, and then some tacked on an extra credit. Yeah, and there's that exploitableness of Piranha Plant's like off stage coming in. Like QWERTY, we see she's very unafraid to go for these mm -hmm. bouncing fishes to cover any of these options. Because, you know, Piranha Plant just overall very slow character, whereas Sheik's so fast, you can like close the distance or just if Piranha Plant throws out a hitbox, the recovery, just take advantage of that go in for something like that bouncing fish. But ooh, very close Jut is going to put some pressure on this ledge. Ooh, as we see there, invincibility running out, the poison tacking on some extra mm -hmm. damage that QWERTY did not need to deal with, but she might like the extra rage. Yeah, it's unfortunate right now if you're QWERTY because you are practically at a, sitting at kill percent at this point to any strong attack of Piranha Plant. That does include the up throw, but you see Jut! Oh, that's a shield the break! Bait, the baited option right there. That's one of those... That down B is one of those tools that really catches people off guard because you don't know if you're just holding down or you don't know if you're charging up that down B as you see right there. We already saw how minimal that shield was before that down B even connected, but that was just the icing on the cake. That is Jut getting the stock in a shield break fashion. Yeah, the Patui doing huge wonders right there for that stock. Yeah, like Patui by itself does so much shield damage just to start off. And then with a fully charged down B, I don't think there's any shield that would survive that. So Jut going into game two here. Looks like we're gonna go to small battlefield. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I like the choice because it gives Piranha Plant a bit less space to play with because Piranha Plant does like to kind of control space with like those poison clouds there mm -hmm. in the Dewey. It's a bit smaller of a stage than PS2. So 
I like this as long as Cordy is able to take advantage and really keep in Jut's face, take advantage yep. of these slow hitboxes. And here we go, we see these combos coming out. Cordy off to a much better start this game. Yeah, Cordy wants to make sure that she starts getting Jut in a position where he's landing on top of the platform so they can do some combo extensions with Sheik. But that's another thing that's going to benefit Piranha Plant in this matchup because Piranha Plant is one of those characters that excels when they keep you in the platform, especially in those corner scenarios. The trap game is looking phenomenal right now from Jut as he takes first stock once again. Yeah, like Jut's been just doing so well with like these ledge get up coverage and everything. Like earlier at that stock, we saw him frame trap with the Patui, follow that up with a jab to keep Cordy off stage. But now we see Cordy kind of starting to find, find some ground again, mm -hmm. looking to take this stock before Jut's able to build up too much extra credit. And like, there we go, like charging in right under the Patui. Uh, you just need to make sure that Piranha Plant throws it out, because if you don't, that's a lasting hitbox that'll break your combo much like a snake grenade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I really love the usage that Jut is using with Patui. It's kind of like a get off me tool. I know you're applying all this pressure on me right now, but this Patui is just enough to keep you at a distance. Make sure that you don't continue this pressure that you're applying on me. And as you're seeing right now, this is the flaws of Sheik. 153 on this Piranha Plant, and still you can't even say there's much kill moves except that down smash coming in clutch right there for QWERTY as she takes the stock finally, but still Jut on the Rampage, racking up this damage, keeping QWERTY at the corner. And the Patui once ooh, again almost ooh. gonna finish it off. Yeah, that was great DI there by QWERTY. Uh, oh, but he's gonna read the roll up from the ledge with that up smash so strong, even with minimal charge gonna take the stock any day here on small battlefield mm -hmm. and it's looking like Jut's not gonna let the pressure up yet but Cordy able to get past all of those projectiles that front of plants thrown out actually has a pretty good thing going here for <gasps> oh, oh beautiful protect tech. those gonna save her life mm -hmm. yeah Cordy coming in clutch right there with that tech surviving just a bit longer watch out because that is one of the baited options if you hit piranha plant with a patui in the air like that you are almost destined to get hit by it so that is great awareness coming out from QWERTY avoiding the patui at that in that instant but not avoiding the up smash once again the traps of piranha plant coming in through even with the poison covering the get up options which were normal get up uh roll and it kind of just left you at a position where you have to jump and QWERTY jumping at the wrong place at the wrong time and just letting jut take that stock at was that a 74 that was at 74 percent Man, what I tell you about that up smash, <laughs> it is so strong, even with just no charge. You can just mm -hmm. flick, flick the C stick yeah. up and they're dead. It's absolutely crazy. But like, yeah, great things to Jut. He was doing exactly what you want to do as Piranha Plan, keeping QWERTY off stage, covering these ledge options. And he's also um, able to force QWERTY to panic, which is mm -hmm. one of the worst things to do against Piranha Plan at ledge, because if you get hit by a Patui enough times, you are going to die getting trying to get off ledge against that yeah. character.